Yo, what's good, everybody? I'm here with Jaden Sancho. Good to meet you, bro. I'm excited to talk to you. Yeah, that's me and Jaden Sancho, Dortmund midfielder and one of the best young players in the entire world. Any other words in the Mercurium? Any words? Yeah. Um, so I went ahead and tested them out, and uh, yeah, he's right. It's a seriously impressive boot. exactly makes the new Mercurial so lit? Well, I thought about it, but that's not really a question that I can answer. Lucky for me, I spoke to some people who could. We've just arrived at the Nike Mercurial launch event here in France. There's lots of cool stuff going on. Let's check it out. So hey guys, uh, my name is Max Lau. I'm the uh, global vice president of Nike Football Footwork. With me, uh, Jay Wu, uh, the, our design, senior design director. Uh, the brain, the creative brain behind this incredible Merc. Usually, what I mean by that, every time we start this process, we start by asking questions to the players of all levels. What is it that we can do better? Uh, is there something we should change? And this was my first time, and probably Jay's first time as well, to hear, please do not touch this boot. How long have you guys been working on this generation of Mercurial? Well, to be honest, we've been working on this one way before we launched the previous one. This oh, was, really? Oh, yeah, this was at least a 24th one cycle, especially to crack down on how to make a softer flying it. That mm -hmm. took a lot of time and testing hours to nail it and end up with something that feels soft mm -hmm. and yet, you know, strong enough to contain the player's foot. What you see here is actually uh, some of the very, very early, uh, let's say, ideation that designers are actually going through. So, you know, uh, you have a product designer that works with a flight uh, engineer programmer and they basically sit down and, you know, discuss Look, I want to actually create a climate that's actually lighter, you know, having a lot of a holes for our breathability, but then also very flexible. But then, so we go through all these kind of iterations of you know, different scales of holes, you know, something that's really open to uh, something that's a little bit more closed. We want our consumers and athletes, you know, when they look at the shoe or product, what is the immediate signature that we want to talk about and express? What's your favorite thing on the new boot? To be fair, I like the detail that's gone into the boot, so that we can ride here. This is very different, I've never seen it in a boot before, so yeah, I, I like it as well. I know you guys were talking a lot about the new upper and how it, it definitely in hand does feel a lot softer. I know that the Vapor 12 had good lockdown in my opinion. You know, what sort of changes did you make to the Flynet specifically with this new boot to make it so much softer? Yeah, well we spent a lot of time trying to figure, um, although most players told us right out of the gates, do not mess with yeah. the 2018 Merc. Mm -hmm. Uh, not that we didn't listen, but we felt we could do better. Uh, in one of those areas, is you're spot on. Uh, we felt we could do better on delivering a softer um, product. Because the goal of this boot, just like the one in 18, this is a better execution on that, is somehow to create a second skin fit. So we looked into ways of engineering flying it uh, and making it softer. But with that came another challenge, which is lockdown. Um, how do you keep the foot from moving? When you go too soft, then there's a lot of movement. Uh, movement. The upper material could stretch, and with that comes, you know, uh, distractions and loss of power transfer. <laughs> And so I think this actually did both, which was not an easy task, which is super soft, but great lockdown. And it's a combination of a new yarn uh, treatments with new uh, fly water that instead of running vertically, they run horizontally mm -hmm. from toe to heels, giving, keeping that softness, but at the same time, keep it, uh, keeping it super stable mm -hmm. and uh, structurally you know, strong. Well, what we said was, how do we create our most dynamic, lightweight flywire from toe 
to hill. And the NIDA engineers were able to actually thread using those very high tensile um, threads that go literally individually across all the holes. Okay. Here we have the final exposed fly knit without a covering. We have some of the, uh, the pieces that actually go over it and make up the shoe, ending with this right here. And what you see here is actually there was a component that is, so you can kind of see. So this is actually the part that actually goes on top of the fly knit. This right here. And then you add all the stuff on the table together and what do you get? Well, you get the new Mercurial Superfly 360. I have to say, I've been in football now almost five and a half years. This is the proudest I've been uh, as part of this team on the output of, of that uh, journey for us. So it feels really good. Well, folks, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I hope you guys now have some more insight into just how the Mercurial is made.